everyone, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Dan and Bear Play Elite Dangerous Bear. What's going on? Ooh, baby, we are in a big old thing, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, so Bear and I are in the Wooler Terminal, which is uh, one of the star bases. So now Bear's been working overtime and racked up. How many credits do you have, Bear? Let's have a look at that, actually. I've got myself, uh, I have no idea where to look for that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, 272,000 credits right now. Okay, so Bear's got a lot of credits, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to upgrade some of our ships. You can actually, you got enough to buy another ship. Yeah, baby. So, okay, so you're on the, the main screen, right, where it says, like, Wooler Terminal, um, everything's all in front of you, right? Yep, yep. Okay, so on the bottom right, if you want to look at some available ships, let's see where it says Shipyard. Yep. Okay, click that. Got it, got it. Okay, so now if you go to the right, you can see all the different kinds of ships and what ooh. you can afford, Bear. Ooh, yeah, man. Actually, ooh, these are not nearly as expensive as I thought they'd be, too. I can, I can get me a Viper <laughs> MK3. Yeah, that's a, actually a really uh, a solid starting ship. I like it, yeah. We got ourselves some, some pulse lasers, the basic discovery scanner. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, so Bear's going to upgrade the ship out, or Bear's going to get a new ship. I'm going to upgrade my ship, Bear. One of the things we should do, um, so you're, wait, talk me through what you're doing. You're buying the Viper, right? I'm buying the Viper, yeah. Here we go. Okay. It's so good, too. I can't wait to do a flyby and see it, too. Ooh, I can exchange my, my current freely uh, bestowed Sidewinder for 7,500 credits. Hell yeah. There you go. Permanently lose your ship and modules. No big deal. Here we go. New digs, yo. There you go. So, so one of the things, Barry, you should still have plenty of money here. Uh, okay, so you you have your new ship, right? Uh, it is is currently standing by, but oh yeah, here we are. I got it. She's a beaut. Ooh yes. I just bumped the microphone. That's okay. Oh man, big old cockpit to boot here. Look at this thing. <laughs> nice and spacious. All right, so one of the things you got to make sure you buy when you go to outfitting, make sure you go into the utility mounts and buy a kill warrant scanner. Because then what we can do is we can start scanning ships you know, anywhere in the galaxy, and then if they have uh, a warrant out for them, we can roast them and get paid. Nice. All right, picking that up now. Should I get a yeah. C-grade one or a D-grade one? Well, it's, I mean, we'll get super, uh, super into it here, so you want to make sure, what's the difference in price for you? Uh, 80,000 credits, which is kind of a lot. Yeah, so I just went with the D, because, uh, you know, there's just, I mean, you see all the different stats, and they're like, how much power it uses, how long it takes to use, but for, let's just start with the basic one, because the other thing I'd recommend is, after that, I'd, up, I'd recommend upgrading your weapons, too, because we kind of, we got some basic weapons here. Right, right, okay, yeah, I'm heading to hard points. Oh, uh, but you actually should, how many hard points do you have on your... I've got four, ooh, yeah, so I can go ahead and grab a new weapon and uh, just add it on, huh? Yeah, you're gonna be locked and loaded. Oh shit, man. Okay, so what do you recommend here of these available weapons? We got some burst lasers, cannons, fragment cannons, mines, rail guns. Okay, one of the things I recommend is all right. So in the bottom, so if you click on like so, click on multi cannon, right? Okay. And you can pick whatever weapon you want. But if you see, it says like one G dot, and then there's a symbol underneath it. Yes. Do you see how the symbol is like crossing circles yes. and it's not like a crosshair? Mm -hmm. So that means like it's gimbaled, meaning that if it kind of auto locks on, whereas the the crosshair, you've got to really have it aimed on your target. I you know see. what I mean? Yeah, 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 I got you. Okay, so I probably want to go with the gimbaled stuff because I'm a noob. Yeah, and it's it's better. Nice. Across All right. the board. Done. All right. All right, nice. So I'm gonna. I bought two gimbaled multi cannons and a, a warrant scanner, so we should be good to go. Hyper velocity projectile weapon on a fixed mount, man. I I am tempted <laughs> to get a railgun. That sounds good. Get a railgun. Do it. It's forty thousand credits, and it's also a fixed weapon. I think I might go for. I'm gonna go for a, a cannon, man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get myself some some non. Uh, some non-skill-based firepower. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
right, let me, so I'm gonna go, I think I just, exchange, I think I just bought an extra multi can but all right, I'm going multi cannons. and I'm gonna launch, and then we're gonna go back to a, actually, we're in a different system here, but we're gonna go to a, another high traffic area, so we can put our weapons to get used and stock some more, uh, some more stuff up, actually. Let's check the mission, check the mission board, too, when you get a second pair. Will do. All right. So, do I need Tell to set a uh, do I need to go. set a fire group for my uh, warrant scanner? Yeah. So we can actually do that. It's easiest to do that from once we launch. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. All right. Uh, all the missions are kind of like when you look at the missions. At least for us right now, they're all kind of basic, and they don't pay as much as if we we're just going to go. Like, start uh, being uh, subjugated policemen, which I think we're going to do. So I'm going to launch here, Bear, and then I'll meet you outside the Wooler Terminal. All right, sounds good. And then good. We'll, uh, I'll talk you through how we use our our kill warrant scanners. Beautiful. Man. So, uh, preceding today's recording, we, uh, we attempted to get me to record landing my vessel within this place. And <laughs> once, I, once I get outside, I'll... Uh, I'll give you an idea of why I was experiencing a little bit of confusion there. <laughs> so, Bear, one of the things when I hope we can we can get you to a, a point in time to do is, and I'm not I think about doing it, but we get yourself in a position where you're lined up, and then I'll I'll afterburn through the exit. So oh, I don't think we're there yet. But it, it gets kind of fun because when traffic's incoming, you're definitely rolling the dice. Because the other thing I don't know if people know about this game is that if we die, we have to pay our insurance policy. And if we don't, then we lose everything on our ship. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> so, so now that we're flying out here with uh, you know decent loadouts, you more so than I, we've got to... We gotta protect our investment here, Bear. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sounds good. I'm, I'm just tailing with you, man. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot I want to give these guys the visual of this place. So friggin' ridiculous. Right now? Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me get a little bit further out okay. so I can get the better visual here. Oh man, it is just rid rid fucking ridiculous. And I <laughs> am actually enjoying my new cockpit here, too. I totally forgot. All right. What's behind you? Is it, what, is it like, does it look bigger when you look behind you? It is certainly, uh... It's certainly spacious. <laughs> All right, turn it around. Here it is. Here's the dodecahedron of death. One of the most terrifying just, constructs I've ever seen in space. I'm waiting for you. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking in. I'm gonna see see your flight skills, bear. <laughs> Barrel roll. Were you a, a Star Fox guy growing up? Ah, uh, not really. I didn't really had like a Super Nintendo or uh, N64. I was always more of a Sega PlayStation nerd. Wait, you're out of the terminal, right? Oh, there you yeah, are. Yeah, no, I'm out. I'm out. No oh, I was waiting for you to fly out of there. Yeah, my bad. Okay, so we are. We're gonna go bounty hunting again, yeah? Yeah, I want to do. Hold on. Can you uh, kill your engines for a second? I want to get a, a close up of your your ship here. Oh the, yeah, the sure thing. Freshness. Sounds good I'm to me. Try and Oh boy. <laughs> Do you see me fly by, Bear? Yeah, I saw you. Hold on, I want to see if I, I'm going to get a little closer. I want to get cockpit to cockpit here before we go bounty hunting here. Nice. Me and Zinn did All this right. the other have, day as well. It's pretty great. <laughs> have you uh, have you figured out the radar yet? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Okay. I think I pretty it's much pretty understand it. It's, a, it's actually pretty well done once you... Alright, there you are. Once you get a hang of it. Okay, so I'm going to carefully... Without ramming into you. <laughs> it feels like I'm moving because of that damn oh. dodecahedron. Hello. What's up, Bear? All right, let's 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 uh, let's find a place to go to here, shall we? So we're going to go to, hopefully, to stay in this system. So I'm looking at our, uh, if you look at the left panel, we're looking for any sort of uh, nav beacon. Got it. You, and if you spot one, let's see here. Let's see, uh, I'm not really finding anything interesting near us. I'm gonna go... Let's go... Let's see here, Bear. I'm gonna go system map, and sometimes that's the best way. 
Sounds good. Let's see, if you say anything interesting, uh, we could go with, sometimes there's also a lot of people at, um, at, uh, Asteroid Belt, so let's go to Cremain Belt B. Okay. And then, uh, we should be able to jump out together here. Yeah. But also, all right, so the way the jumping works, so we both got to go to hyperspace, and then once we're in hyperspace and one of us jumps out, then we're... We're both squatted up. Gotcha. All right. Ooh, I get some like new ship? some big power, ship. man. I just I just realized, yeah, I cranked up some power to the engines, and I'm getting a little faster now. <laughs> oh, so have you? Uh, do you have a like a, a joystick hat set up to manage your power on the right side? Yes. Okay, cool. So you get it. Yep, you're I'm down, good. man. You're not, you're not a, a newbie commander anymore, Bear. I'm feeling a little competent, but I'm sure one quick firefight from somebody who knows what they're talking or uh, what they're doing is gonna change my opinion on that really great. <laughs> All right. Speaking of that, one of the things we need to do, Bear, once are you, once you're in hyperspace, let me know because I'll walk you through setting up your um your fire group. All right. I am here and now disengaged, apparently. Oh, wow. Are we already here? No, I think somehow you pulled me out. Oh. But that's okay. All right. Which is what's kind of bizarre, but it's all good. Yeah. Oh, we're not. Yeah, we didn't even, like, get very far from the terminal, did we? No, I don't know what happened there. That's weird. Okay, so you're back in Super Cruise. I need to do that myself, I guess. Yeah, get to Super Cruise, and then we should be good here. Okay. And then, then we're in Super Cruise, I'll walk you through how to set your hard points. Because one of the things that Bear and I bought was we each bought a warrant scanner. So now anytime we see a ship, instead of firing on it, and it's kind of a cool little way it, it works, and I'll, it'll, you'll get a chance to see it, Bears. You scan ships, and then it gives you additional bounty information on them, so it'll tell us uh, if they're wanted. And if they're wanted, then we essentially we can kill without recompense, which is good. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. Are you, uh, are you in hyperspace? Yeah, so you're going to, uh, what, what belt cluster are you going to? So, I'm going to Cremain B belt cluster 1, but I should be able to jump out and pull you with me. Alright. Alright, so while I'm doing that, Bear, look on your right panel. Okay. And then go tab over to fire groups. Got it. Okay, then you see how you have your, your utilities? Uh-huh. Okay, so you want to put your reticle over uh, the plus, the second column, where it says basic, uh, not discovery, where it says warrant scanner. Uh-huh. And then it should say, th did it pop up a number two for you? Uh, yeah, okay, so I actually already set the second fire group with my new cannons. So oh, there you go. Am I uh, am I screwing that up by adding the warrant scanner to it, or is that okay? Yeah, you brought you want to set it to its separate one, so that way you can just you don't accidentally fire on a target. So you maybe want to set it to your third fire group. You can have I think I don't know the limit, but you can have a bunch of fire groups. Okay, and then uh, so I I put it in a new fire group, and it shows up with a little one, and I can change that to a two. Do I want to do that with the second fire group? Yeah, so what you want is you want all your guns should be like one and your scanner should be two. Okay. So that way, like, whenever you deploy your hard points, you can change between group one and group two. Gotcha. And also, you have the ability to fire one and two at the same time. Oh, slow down. Bro. I'm about to pull you out of here, Bear. Hang oh, on. Oh, hell yeah. Have Give you got a. Oh, up. we're about to rubber band. Have you got a hand of uh, rubber banding yet? What is rubber banding? I mean, uh, not like not blowing past your your destination the first time. I see. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm getting a little bit better at it. I've recognized now the value of that blue line is a lot uh, higher than <laughs> I initially suspected. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna fly right. by you actually. Oh shit. You see me? Yeah, I'm right next to you. In Super Cruise, I which is really crazy. Are you to my left or right? Uh, I am just behind you. Okay. You're, you're moving around so damn fast though, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I lost you again, yeah. Alright, we we're almost here, Bear. Almost here. Almost there. 
Hang in there, boys. Hang in there. Man, it is it is so much fun to fly around in Super Cruise too, and to just like go by all the planets and see all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, here we go, Bear. All right. Oh, all right. Are you being pulled right now? Uh, it said frame shift drop detected. Okay. So. I guess that means that it's telling me that you dropped, but I am not dropping. It didn't drop with you, huh? No. I I'm need to figure that. Yeah, my beacon's on. I'm still like Were you uh three thousand light years away from Cremain B belt cluster one too? But it, I mean typically what happens though, are you uh, uh are you locked on to uh my nav lock, you know, in that upper thing, in that upper deal? I believe so. I'll check again, though. Yeah, we're, uh... Okay, well, good... We're definitely there. Okay. Well, the good news is, is that there's nothing here, so you you can jump up to another spot because this place is empty. All right, right on. Which is okay. All right, we've already been in Cremain. Right. Let's see. So what we... So what... what some Sometimes what happens is if you're flying out in space, like random nav points will jump up just because you're in hyperspace. So if you see anything that's like uh, um, a nav beacon, that's where you want to go. Gotcha. That makes sense. All right. Uh, I've not seen anything yet. I'm headed over in the direction of Cremain 4. Okay. Hang on here. I got to Bear, what's my deploy hardpoints button? You gotta tell me, Bear. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> I, uh, I use... Wait, I use, like, button 12 on the on the flight stick is what it's labeled as in the goddamn controls, so I couldn't even begin to tell you. Hey, tell everyone about uh, what you had set up prior to the recording, but... Oh that yeah. Was a little too much. So I've got this ship AI that is just the coolest thing in the world and I had it I, I bought it. It's like a premium pack. Uh and it <laughs> it works phenomenally well, but it is a little bit too much when I have somebody else in my wing. So what Sorry, what? Dan, Dan, come in, Dan Geasley. No, I was just saying when I went to hyperspace, you got cut off. Oh. <laughs> you got me? That's great. Uh, but yeah, the the ship AI is pretty fantastic. I was uh, hoping to be able to show it off, but it's you, oh god, are you getting cut off again? Hello, DG. Yeah, so one of the things is when we go into the, when we jump the game. Yeah, I'm here. Are you here? Yeah. Oh my god, you're on like a hyper delay now, though. I think that's great. So do you want to tell people why that is? The delay. Yeah. So, I guess it's like a built-in thing with the game. I don't know, okay, so I know that the uh, the hyperspace jump and actually like leaving through the gates in the, uh, in the terminals applies an extra layer of distortion to the voice quality <laughs> in the uh, ship as well. But I also think, I'm, I'm considering the possibility that it adds to latency the further away you are. Really? Yeah, which would be stupid, but it's, it's kind of <laughs> kind of cute at the same time. Yeah. All right, Bear, we got to do we got a hot spot here. Oh, dope. Okay, I'm I'm on you. All right, so I'm hoping this pulls you. So will you double check and go to the top and you and make sure that uh, whatever I think it's like nav the nav beacon lock is on. Yep, I am engaged. Wingman nav lock on Commander Dan Geesling. Okay, cool. So we found a nav beacon here, Bear, and this, this is where uh, we got some action. I can't wait to see your Viper in action, man. I, yeah. think, I honestly think you're going to be wrecking people. I'm excited. I, I hope the uh, I hope the fire groups make sense. Or so at least tell me what your fire groups are set at. I've set it as so I've got uh, so I've got column one is the two pulse lasers, and then I've got column two here is the multi cannon and the cannon that I just got. And uh, okay. those are both set to one, right? So I've got the the one in a circle, but they're in separate columns. Is that how I'm supposed to have it? Um, I don't know, cause what do you? I mean, what I think what that is is you'll have two attack buttons. 
Oh. So they'll, they'll both be pulled on the same draw, but, but if you want to, hey, I just want to shoot my cannons, you hit, like, your main button. Oh, I just want to shoot, you know, my other deal, then it's, which is actually probably the ideal situation for you. Got it, okay. All right, man. And then you have another one for your warrant scanner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got that set to two, and that's in its own column okay. as well. Cool. I'm about to jump out here, Barrett. All right. Hopefully it'll take pulled? me with you. No, I didn't get pulled. Damn, that that was working. Why. We had that working, didn't we? Yeah. That's so bizarre. I don't know. I'll look. We'll look into that between this and the next episode. Art. So let's go ahead and... So, Bear, once you get here, it's, it's hot. It's it's real hot. All right, I'm on my way. I'm still about 700 light years out. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish it pulled me in with you, man. That would, would really uh, help yeah. out the multiplayer side of things here. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's it's pretty much clutch. We, we have, have to... We'll get it fixed between this and the next episode for sure. Yeah. All right. Well... Well, Bear's doing that. I'm looking at how to pull my warrant scanner. How close are you, Bear? I am 200 light years out. Okay, that's not bad. Do you have your throttle all the way up? Yep. Oh, wait, no. Oh, my hold on. Yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about this blue zone too much, but here we go. Do I have to slow down now? Oh, now I'm dropping. All right. Close enough, I guess. Yeah, all right. Oh, wait, so you, you auto-dropped? I auto-dropped, yeah. It must just be... I need to okay, be within so that, range uh, of it. Maybe you just gotta get close. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I am, uh... Alright, cool. So we got a lot of targets here, Bear. I'm waiting for it to load up for me. Oh, here they come. Where are you at? Where are you at? There it is. Okay. So, Bear, so you want to learn how to use your warrant scanner? Yes. Okay. So, deploy your hard points. Okay. Alright, now, there's, you should have a button set. If not, there's a way to, a button you can set to, um, to swap your, your fire groups. Okay. So, once you do that... <laughs> oh, I figured it out. Hey, that was easy. Alright, cool. So, you see, like... What are what weapons are on your HUD right now? So like it should say K warrant scanner or like pulse weapons. Yeah, I just cycled it over to the K warrant scanner. Perfect. Okay, so this is actually kind of fun the way this is set up. So what you need to do is you need to be behind a ship uh -huh. and hold hold the button down, and you'll see like you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, got it. I am gonna get behind Vode here. Oh, if I've already scanned them and they're not wanted, does it even make sense to use the warrant scanner? Yeah, still do it because sometimes, like, to my understanding, sometimes, like, not everything is as, as it seems, Bear. I see. Alright, so I'm oh, just trying to, like, like, like... I'm just trying to use this like a regular weapon, right? Yeah, and, like, you gotta be kinda close, and then you gotta fill that whole meter up. Okay. So you know, I am... Like you said, oh, damn. I'm really close. Do I have to be closer than this? Yeah, but you gotta hold the button down. Uh, I don't think it's working. Alright, so does it say underneath K warrant scanner? Does it say out of range or does it look like it's active? Looks like it's active. Okay. Do you have a target? Oh, I'm on the wrong target. Probably. There you Wait, go. no, 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 I'm not. Yeah, no, I got the right target here. Who are you? Are you on Vode? Yeah. Okay. So you got to get behind Vote. So you got to be looking at his uh, engines. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my God, dude! I don't know if I can get closer. I'm pretty sure this just isn't working. I'm I am kissing this dude's engines, and it's not doing anything. Oh wait, no, I got it. I got it. Okay, I scanned him. I see you. So you got, so you got to hold it down to that thing gets filled up. Yeah. Okay. So it says it's complete. Okay, then there's and there's nothing. All right, so that was fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so there's a uh, so a couple federal agents mad because I'm flagrant tap my cell and the phone in the basement. All right, so we got uh, <laughs> so it's pretty quiet right now. So we got Vode, a couple federal agents that we don't want to mess with. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and turn around then. Let's see uh, who else we got here. 
Yeah, I was really hoping Vode would be something. Yeah, Vode doesn't... Vode's kind of, uh... With a name like Vode, you can't trust him. Yeah, really. He's a sketchy character. Hey, Bear, when you play Darkest Dungeon and you gotta name your characters, what kind of... What's your thought process? I don't, naming your character. I don't name them, actually, mostly because I enjoy not ever being able to pronounce any of the names that they ha have by default. You got shit like, <laughs> like, Boyce <laughs> Levesque and fucking Coussant with three O's for some reason. I have no idea <laughs> how half of them are said, but it is fun to attempt it. So you just leave them as default most of the time? Yeah, I tend to just go with the default. And I also don't have enough friends to, to justify naming <laughs> characters. I got you guys, is basically it, right? Ooh, federal agent What's again. That? Nothing, I'm just I'm just being self-deprecating. I haven't found a oh, single okay. enemy ship that's worth scanning though. No. Fertilance. Oh, here we go. Federal security system deadly. Hold on here. Oh wait, wait there. Oh, this is like a really rare ship. Ooh. Do you see a Marcus Demi Aurelius? Uh hold on. Oh man, if I had my voice commands, I could select Wingman's target, but I don't. <laughs> I'm on my way to you. Oh, we got him. Oh, we he's wanted, boys. Bear, but I don't know if we want to pick this fight. This is like one of the best ships in the kit. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. Let's do it. No, this has been an eventless episode. We got to do something. <laughs> All right. I am flying I'm in full speed. Do you see who I'm, you see who I'm targeted, right? Uh, Marcus Domin something or other. Yeah, and you want to know the other thing about this, Bear? What's that? See it underneath what it says? It says in wing. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's in a team. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I found your target. Marcus Domenius. All right, let's do it. Wait, all right, don't. Did he fire yet? Not yet. Okay, don't don't fire on him. There, let's get one of his lackeys first. Okay. Let's get, uh, let's get the first. Do you see the first? I think he's firing at you. Is he? The first. Well, Hold on, I'm trying to find your guy. There he is, I see him. Alright. Get the first, boy. Let's do it. Oh, he's in a wing of five. Damn, that's a lot. Oh, boy, I'm getting turned around here. Tell me about those new weapons. I'm getting them with him, baby. Get them, boys. Ooh, I'm dealing some damage, man. Oh, shit. This new cannon's oh, not bad. Yeah, he, he just dropped six percent when you fired on him. Yeah, man. Getting in range again. Roast him. A little closer up. Here we go. Roger that, Bear. <laughs> oh yeah, hitting him hard, baby. He's going down. He's oh, going down. Give us money. Give us money. <laughs> Oh yeah, all right. We'll take it, we'll take it. We're in business right, here though. Get the clipper. Get the clipper, we're getting Marcus Aurelius here, Bear. Gotcha. Nice work, Bear, that that fresh wood you, you're in a Viper? Yeah, man, these cannons are nothing to fuck with. <laughs> all right. Oh, he's trying to jump out of here, we gotta get him. Yeah, I found your boy. Whoa! Oh, I think the Imperial got him. Ah, oh, damn. I thought I just like one-shot the guy. <laughs> Alright, how are we feeling about, uh, how are we feeling about Mar Marcellus Wallace here? Uh, is his name Marcellus Wallace for real? No, I wish it was. Oh. There's <laughs> a big boy that came in, though. Hold on. Where's he at, Bear? I lost him. Did you, did you see the big boy? No. It was like a fat ship. Big fat here loop? Somewhere. Yeah, and speaking of big fat loot, I think this is a great spot to end uh, this episode. We're going to jump back in probably the next one and continue this on. But uh, uh -huh. thank you guys so much for watching. hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, uh, be sure to check out the other person's perspective and link in the description below. Bear, nice flying with you, Captain. You too, man. Looking forward to the next one. All right, let's do it. See you guys. See ya.